Hi, welcome to Tim's Garage in association with Cowlick Flicks and proudly sponsored by Raytune and New Age Auto Parts. In this video we'll show you how to take off your intake manifold. We took ours off to paint, so I'm going to show you how to do that and then we're going to put it back on the car. To get your intake manifold, you've got to get access to it. So we're going to take off our intercooler. That's a custom shroud. This is a standard shroud. Although this isn't a custom, this is a custom intercooler. Then take off your blower valve. Do that by removing the hoses, a couple of screws, and that comes off. If you need a more detailed video on this, you can click the link below. Once you've done that, you undo your hoses, 10 mil sockets, and clamps. Undo those front and back of the intercooler. Of course, if you've got a front man intercooler, that's a different system. And then you use a 12 mil socket to undo the top of your intercooler. Once that's done, you quite simply give that a pull, remove that, and we are ready to tackle that awesome, awesome intake. It's always a good idea to disconnect your battery when you're doing this kind of work because we are dealing with sockets and that kind of stuff, um, plugs with pins for some of the electrical stuff of the car. Uh, using an 8mm socket we're undoing the top of this loom and we're just going to be working our way around taking photos often just to disconnect this loom so that we can get a better idea of how it all goes back together. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got good access to the entire manifold. Also took off my tappet cover or valve cover, depending on what you want to call it, and gave that a paint at the same time, which is why I'm going quite extensively on this loom. Also, I just wanted to get it out of the way because when I was doing this job, there was some other stuff that I wanted to do, and so I'm removing everything connected to it. This um, this hose here fits into that uh, little bung. There you are. Um, requires you to push the red bit down. So um, I'm trying to work out how to get that out with different tools. The secret is, it seems, I see that grips already. If I push that down and get that down, um, when I push that down, that's when it releases that. Cool. Now, that's pretty much out of the way, giving me access to the 10 mil bolts that hold it on. Okay, with our manifold, we're now just going to grab 12mm, we're going to undo these two bolts, oh, sitting there, so that's sitting on the, the belt. Um, I'm going to take off the throttle body there, which uses four um, screws, which are fairly nicely hidden. There's one there, two, which is on back there, and then underneath, similar kind of thing. There's um, three, you can see one there, and then similar on the other side. So we're going to do that. Um, to get to this bolt that was sitting in there, um, I've had to undo the two bolts holding what is our uh, power steering pump and there's a bolt at the bottom of that which uses the same thing as a 12 mil head um, which I need a fairly long socket to reach back to here um, crack that give it a few turns but I don't want that loose because that's still got tension on the pulley the two options were um, remove the pulley altogether and pull that off and let it hang or leave the pulley on which I sort of went for which is why oh, it's pulling to the side because it's still got tension on it it'll be fun to get back um, all the visible bolts we've done then we've ended up taking off our um, 
sort of the intake um, here. Yeah, so it goes into the, the throttle body um, there. Good access. I've just found a, a bolt in under there. You can see. Um, just sort of working my way through the parts that I can see that kind of connect. Um, and now what I've just discovered down here is that all this is sort of one piece, uh, which sort of doesn't make me all that excited because I can see that down here that all connects that part as well. So we'll need to, um, there's a bolt, you may not be able to see it, you can just see the head of it just there, underneath there, which will be, that will be just the greatest thing in the world to get to. Um, I did read somewhere about taking this off, but I hope I don't have to. Uh, but we'll get in there and I need to undo this hose, which we'll see. That may just spew something everywhere. We'll see. But that's what we're up to. So we're going to undo that other bolt and the hose and we'll see what happens from there. sure this is the last ingredient, right? So we've undone this plate. Have all the stuff out of the way. It should reveal whatever's... Yeah, I'm picturing there being one last bolt. So just um, the dipsticks. Got an 8 mil bolt. Okay. Look in there. Um, there is underneath. Um, where did I see you? In there. There it is. Um, underneath this part, there's a head. I can't actually see the head of the bolt, but I can feel it. And I believe that's what's holding that in. So we're going to go in with a 10mm. Um, see if that's the right size. Um, see if we can get this off. Gentlest removal in the world, but there we go. Oh, 
not too painful at all really. Um, there you go. We're, we're just going to start doing some bits up now. We've got um, it's all looking pretty good. So. <laughs> That's how you take your intake manifold off. Thanks for watching Tim's Garage.